Happy New Year, everyone. Today is 3.22 p.m., uh, 3rd of January, Wednesday, and this is a disclosure here. Uh, it's amazing, uh, after New Year Eve, and it's still, uh, I mean, normally the market usually on the first couple of days is not really strong, but today was strong enough. I cannot cover every chart, but I will cover a couple of them like what we did last uh, video. Uh, I want to cover the DAX like last video, and um, it is a very impressive uh, time frame, and it is the one minute, and I've been covering the one minute practically uh, every day. Uh, and uh, today we have one trade on the DAX at 9.54, and then we were done at 10.16. So this is uh, uh, the the normal chart I rely on the DAX. Uh, let's look at the ES. Uh, we had, it is, we had a trade at 7.35, one trade, and we exit at uh, 14.11. 1411 this is not bad at all one trade and this is I wish it could be every day but uh, this is very nice when we enter the market early uh, and uh, stay on that trade staying going in and out going in and out of the market that could be sometimes very dangerous let's look at the uh, five range Oh, we had, let me take this one out of the way. Uh, we had an entry at 7.55, and we still on the same trade from 7.55, and now it's 3.24, one trade. I love it. Let's cover something else, a real time frame, not one of those uh, creepy charts, you know, a real minute. Let's look today on the Nasdaq. You can see this is, is gonna happen. We we couldn't get it on the first trade. We have a little bit here, a little bit here, and then when losing trade, couple takes lose trade, and then on the first pullback we entered the market, and we were done at thirteen forty two. So if this market move it, we gonna nail it. It's not going to get away from us, and we're going to stay on that trade. When the market gets a little bit, a uh, little turbulence in the market, then we're going to be facing a couple of three trades, and nothing we can do about it. Also, we have the, uh, the gold still on one trade. Let's look at the three minutes CL. The CL we had... Let's look at the CL. We went short at uh, 60.33. <laughs> and look, we exit on one tick at 60.34. One tick. Then we entered the market at 60.36. Then we exit at 60.48. Then we entered the market, and this is a three minutes. So... The stop loss, even if you are a manual trader, you cannot aim it like that. We have an entry at 60.48. We exit on a losing trade with four ticks, folks. Four ticks, 60.48, and all those are market orders. Plus, minus uh, one tick or two ticks slippage. And then uh, we, we exit at 60.52. That's four ticks. And then we enter the market at 60, 67, and we exit at 61.26. This is a lovely trade, and it was done. So this is not bad if the market is trending, is trending. If the market not trending, there is nothing we can do about uh, Let's find one more CL. Uh, let's take the five range on the CL, like uh, we did on the uh, ES. We have one trade on the five range, and it is at 831. We enter at 6087, 
and uh, then we exit at 61.29. At 11.18, the party was over on the CL. So that's all what we have for you today. And uh, God bless you all, and uh, wish every trader uh, have the best of the this year here, and everybody will be success. Thank you very much. God bless you all, and see you. We will be um, uh, taking a break uh, next week after working very hard, 13, 14 hours a day. We are. T I'm taking a one week break, uh, but uh, for our traders, if they have um, uh, need the support, uh, we have a couple guys on standby for full support. And um, of course, you can always contact me if some kind of emergency. Thank you very much. God bless you all.